Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for September 2022. I hope that you are feeling fabulous and totally rocking life right now. This is a general reading for Gemini. However, cross watchers are also welcome. Keep in mind that the roles of individuals or energies identified may be swapped and that the intensity of the situations may vary. So feel free to take with you whatever resonates and leave behind whatever does not. We're going to start with this Celtic Cross Tarot reading and close off with an Oracle card message. So let's see what we have here, Gemini. The present situation, you have Ace of Swords. What covers is Three of Wands. Above you, you have Seven of Wands. Below you, Three of Swords. In the past, you have Seven of Swords. In the near future, you have Knight of Wands. In your you know, attitude of the situation, you have this Temperance card. In your environment, which is external factors influencing you, you have Page of Pentacles. In your hopes and fears, you have Three of Pentacles. Um, and in the potential outcome, you have the Devil card here. So in your past, Gemini, there is the Seven of Swords. This is a card of a uh, typically liar, stealer, cheater. Um, and because the unconscious mind, things that are kind of in the background that you might not be aware of, uh, is this Three of Swords, this kind of um, betrayal, hurt, um, broken heart, um, since that is there, it kind of indicates that uh, that could be the case here. Uh, maybe you dealt with a liar, stealer, cheater. Maybe you were the liar, stealer, cheater. We'll uncover these things. Um, so the present situation, you have Ace of Swords. Uh, that is a sense of wanting to be victorious. It also could be a sign of, you know, a sense of clarity, um, an opportunity to kind of make things right for truth to prevail type of thing. What uh, covers with this Three of Wands, it's a sense of like, uh, not planning an escape, but you know, seeing seeing where you can go from here. Um, if this, you know, it kind of makes me think that uh, Three of Wands is like online dating, and if not online, then kind of almost like seeing what's out there. Like you're going to try this again, and you're seeing what's out there. Um, you know, for others of you, this. It could be in relation to like a, a job, uh, like your career path, uh, perhaps the liar, stealer, cheater that has to do with, um, you know, cutting corners, um, cheating on, you know, uh, exams, um, not being honest about progress, um, because you do have the devil here as the, the outcome. But uh, but either way, it's it's a sense of you know maybe not not fully learning from the process. Um, however, you do have your attitude here as as temperance. This is a card of of healing and moderation, taking things slow, um, and trying to kind of kind of learn from the past to create something new. There is that attitude there. Um, 
but in the conscious mind, you have the seven of wands, and that's a sense of not changing. It's like standing your ground. Um, if you are kind of, it, it's a sense of you're going to do what you're going to do, and that's the way it's going to be. And if that is, you know, learning, healing from the past, dealing with these three swords, that's great. Um, but in the near future, you have this Knight of Wands, and it's a sense of, you know, um, just kind of charging, rushing, um, pursuing something just for, uh, because it's, you know, shiny, new, you want the adrenaline rush, you, you it, like a, like impulsive. Um, and it could be for some of you kind of falling into the same patterns that you've dealt with in the past. Um, because you do have the devil as that potential outcome that has to do with, you know, um, Temptations, uh, illusions, and um, cutting corners, instant gratification, instant relief, and um, possibly repeated repeated patterns that aren't for your best and highest good. Um, with the Page of Pentacles being in your environment, it's a, a sense that there's some external factor where there is a focus on going slow. Um, with the swords and the wands, there's more of a rushing fast. With temperance, there is a sense of going slow as well. Um, and with this page of pentacles, it could be learning to uh, appreciate something more about yourself, um, how you interact with the you know material world it also could be you know for some of you if this is like related to a job um then in the environment there are opportunities for uh you know new potential new paths for you to um you know focus your energy into creating something in the material world Three of Pentacles being in your hopes and fears. This is about, you know, working with others and having your, your talents and skills recognized in that process, but really needing, really needing everyone involved to create something, something new. Um, to some degree, it may be that uh, you don't, you don't like working with others. Uh, you like to do things on your own. But the Seven of Wands is kind of like kind of pushing people off, pushing them away. Um, and then the Seven of Swords is kind of kind of doing things on their own, not being noticed. You know, kind of being not seen. Um, so here it's um, it's a sense where these you got the the three of wands and the three of pentacles um it's a sense of really trying to plan your success and whatever whatever you are trying to um pursue you know if it's a sense of of truth a sense of um um how you communicate a sense of you know you being right about something. It's how you interact with others, how you kind of connect with others and use that information. Um, and so here with the outcome again being the devil, there's a there's a sense of um, kind of giving up your power to someone to an idea. So let's let's um, clarify these cards here. So I want to take a look at the Seven of Swords in the past. 
you have this death card. It's a sense of some change, something that um, may have been that you were supposed to do something, supposed to change, and you didn't, or someone was supposed to change and they didn't. Um, but here it's a it's a sense of something was lost um, in the process, but it gives an opportunity for uh, a transformation for things to change. So let's look at the three of swords in the unconscious mind. There's nine of wands here. So a sense of, you know, feeling defeated, feeling that you have to prepare for you know, potential of ongoing um, upset, disappointment, and you're, it's, it's kind of like the seven of wands energy, um, you know, years and years or repeated patterns of doing the seven of wands. At some point, you kind of get, you get tired. Uh, so let's take a look at the seven of wands above. You have two of swords. And so here it's, you know, the standing your ground is kind of you being at a, a, a stalemate, being um, not moving, not making a new choice, not really seeing these new lands behind this blindfolded bunny here. So let's take a look at the uh, situation. Let's take a look at that Ace of Swords. Well, I'm going to take this one card and I'm going to put all these rest back in the deck. Okay, so Ace of Swords. You get Ace of Swords. All right. So <laughs> maybe the deck was like, hey, let's stop messing around. I said Ace of Swords, it's some type of, you know, some type of victory, some type of sense of, you know, the universe offering Gemini a new approach, inspiration for doing things in a new way so that they can make a decision so that they aren't, you know, stuck, that they aren't just in pain and, um, and uh, it's kind of like, what are you going to do with it? So let's take a look at the Three of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. So it's a sense of, again, this, um, this idea of needing to move slowly and being thoughtful, intentional about your next moves. So the Page of Pentacles is... Um, is related to the Knight of Pentacles, but still in a sense of um, kind of in the information, gathering, understanding, really value, like learning the value of something. The Knight of Pentacles is putting in that hard work, is actually, um, you know, uh, if the Page of Pentacles is looking at the landscape, the Knight of Pentacles is actually working the land, you know, putting in the seeds, watering, making the moves, moving forward. Definitely how, you know, a, a sense of they move slowly. There's, it's not indecision. It's not necessarily this is how I'm going to do everything for the rest of my life. Once they find something that works, they might, you know, put together a schedule um, to optimize their, you know, their outcome. So here it's, it's a sense of, you know, what I'm picking up here, Gemini, is um, kind of going from indecisive to impulsive to, um, you know, doing things in the same, it's almost like the same routine. And there's an opportunity, there's something here where you can start looking at things differently. Maybe it's a, uh, you know, a book that you can read, 
or a course you can take, or um, maybe it is, um, you know, working on crossword puzzles or something, some kind of new way to approach uh, how you think about problems and uh, decision making and actually taking steps to follow through on this opportunity um, and to really kind of maybe even, you know, visualize your future. What is it that you're, you're looking for? Um, here with this temperance card, this angel is, their intention and their focus is on these liquids being mixed between these two goblets. Um, so there is intention of making something new um, and kind of like you see this path behind the angel to the mountains. So it's not going to be instantaneous. There's still going to be challenges ahead, but there is going to be an outcome that is worth the effort. Um, but here... It's a sense of, you know, visualizing and focusing on what that is. So let's take a look at the temperance card. You have the hermit, another card of taking things slow, learning from your journey, um, and just, just recognizing that there is no end destination that you need to be. You need to be in the present moment, experiencing that present moment, and from time to time, recognizing aspects of the past that need to be addressed, need to be released, acknowledged, healed, things like that. But recognizing that this is each step of the way, um, a new opportunity for you to gain more wisdom and to have like whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, um, you know, envisioning that and kind of setting your lantern in that direction so that the next step you take is in that direction. So it does kind of indicate a sense of slowing things down, visualizing, um, being more, being more curious, but at a slower pace um, than just kind of jetting into something um, just to, you know, it, it does seem you, you need to make a decision, but you have to see what's there. You need to actually look. Uh, so let's take a look at the page of pentacles in your environment. You have the king of wands. So... King of Wands, they are, uh, you know, visionary leaders, they're loyal, um, confident, and people follow them, not because they convince people to, it's because whatever their vision is, whatever their, their goals are that they are actively pursuing, others really see the value in that. So, um, you know, for some of you, Gemini, maybe there is uh, something in your environment that's worth kind of taking another look at. And so let's take a look at the page, sorry, not the page, the three of pentacles and your hopes and fears. You have the page of cups. Well, maybe that's why I said page. And here it's a sense of really um, allowing your curiosity uh, to to come into play, your imagination. Um, you know, for some of you, it could be that you have been really focusing on, um, on things using your intellect, problem solving, um, having the right answer. And what you need to look at is something that you can really... Um, envision and create from your heart, uh, from your imagination. And um, I see this individual is like drawing, 
something. Uh, and then there's the model and then there's the, the art teacher. So it's a sense of really like tapping into that creativity and being, being okay with not knowing, with being flexible, uh, with not necessarily um, having to have the right answer and just kind of going with a flow, seeing things through um, with a sense of wonder. So let's take a look at the Knight of Wands since that is in your near future. You have the Magician. And that is, you know, a sense of, you know, learning your tools, the skills that you have uh, to create what you want, manifest that into the material world. It's a sense of confidence. You have to, um, you know, for the magician, it, it's a sense of being aware of your environment as well and actually seeing things. So maybe this Knight of Wands is, you know, you just actually trying to see what's out there. Maybe it's not actually jumping into something right away um, or trying to chase something. Um, but... Let's take a look at the devil because that's a very interesting outcome. Maybe it's even just you, how you need to recognize the things that you give power to, uh, the, um, the patterns that you have. You have the three of wands. That's funny um, because that is what covers you. So again, it's, it's almost you get all the way to the end and we come back to this three of wands and that ace of swords that was like, here, I'm, I'm coming up again. So it's a sense that you go through all this and you end up in that same spot um, of where you started. So Gemini, I'm going to close off this reading. with an oracle card. Let's figure out the message from the universe for you. Okay, now I have a better grip on these cards. You have gentle moderation. Take your time. Pressure from others or yourself can be released by renegotiating what you are trying to accomplish. So, Take things slowly, figure out what it is you want. Um, if you want to break this, this cycle that you have going on here, Gemini. So I'm hoping that this reading provides a helpful perspective of your month to uncover more layers about September. Check out your readings for each of your sun, moon, and rising signs. We'll see you next time. Take care.